Hey guys, uh, I just wanted to show this off quickly. This is Mega Man World. And yeah, I was a little confused by that name myself. <laughs> because when I saw it, I was like, isn't that just Mega Man for Game Boy? Well, apparently in Japan, uh, the Mega Man games on the Game Boy were called Rockman World. But, you know, in North America, they didn't go with that, you know, world naming. So... This was just called Mega Man, uh, Dr. Wily's Revenge uh, in North America. And then there was like Mega Man 2, Mega Man 3, etc. Uh, on the Game Boy. Uh, but again, they're their own games. They're not related to the NES games. So I guess giving the whole series its own name made some sense. Uh, but for some reason that, that only stuck in Japan. Uh, Mega Man World does sound weird. It sounds like it's an offshoot and it would be a different type of game. Maybe more adventure uh, more of an adventure style game or something, or I don't know. <laughs> it's just a weird name, but this is a color, uh, ROM hack for Mega Man for Game Boy. Probably should have started with that. <laughs> this is just a color ROM hack, uh, for Mega Man for Game Boy. I really like these color ROM hacks because there wasn't a lot, like the Game Boy Color wasn't around for very long. You know, it came out in, what, 1998, and the Game Boy Advance, I think, was out a, a couple years later, at least based on my memory. <laughs> um, but it didn't seem like the Game Boy Color was around for very long, and in that short amount of time, a lot of games came out for it, but a lot of those games are well, kind of shovelware or uh, games geared towards kids, you know, not necessarily games that I would want to play. Um, you know, and there are some good games on the Game Boy Color, but once you get past, you know, your Zelda DX, your Super Mario Brothers DX, or Special, I think it's called, um, and, you know, Mario Tennis, you find some of those gems, which, you know, I didn't know about at the time, stuff like Shantae, very impressive, um, a Wendy Every Which Way, but, you know, honestly, you get past about 10 games, and then you're starting to struggle, uh, you know, getting through all the shovelware and all the kids' games. And um, when you consider how long the Game Boy was around for and how many good games came out for the Game Boy, um, as a collector now and as someone who has a modified Game Boy Color, it's great to play. You know, I've shown Mario, uh, Super Mario Land uh, 1 and 2, the Color uh, ROM hack for that. Um, I've shown Kirby's Dreamland. There's a color ROM hack for that. And uh, what else? Well, I, I, that's all off the top of my head. That's all I can think of. But now we have this. I'm sure there's a lot more because, you know, I think this was done a few years ago and I never heard of it. Same with Kirby's Dreamland. I just heard of the Kirby's Dreamland uh, DX, you know, color ROM hack recently, but I think that had been out for years. So. There's probably a lot more of these than I realize, and maybe I should eventually go through and try and find all the ones I would want, because there's a lot of good Game Boy games that translate well to these color ROM hacks. Um, so this is Mega Man World, and I will try and show you some of it here. <laughs> But, it's going to be really tricky to play this on camera. <laughs> I got the phone in front of me, and uh, that what I see on the phone screen, you know, there's a little bit of lag. So I can't really play off that. But you know what? I'll try my best. <laughs> oh. 
Anyways, as you can see, it is a really good looking game. This is a Game Boy game. Came out in 1991. Um, and the color ROM hack is outstanding. This is up there with Super Mario Land 2. It was one of the best looking Game Boy color ROM hacks that I've seen. And the fact that someone can do this to this level of quality, um, this could have been... Uh, you know, this could have been a Game Boy Color or a 4 Game Boy Color only release uh, in the late 90s, and it would have been up there with the best, right? Uh, and that's, again, that's what I really love about this, is it's bringing some excellent games that could have or should have been brought to the Game Boy Color in the late 90s. But again, the system just wasn't around for that long, and um, it's just great to have some, some, uh, some more more games to play on a Game Boy Color, especially when you have a modded one and it looks this good. <laughs> like, yeah, this is just just awesome. So, yeah, I'll have the link in the description for the ROM hacking uh, website with the, you know, the patch. You'll need to provide your own ROM, but you know what? It wasn't hard to find. I found it on Google in like two seconds. Um, so, yeah, there you go. Check this one out. And uh, Game Boy Color... ROM hacks of old Game Boy games is just uh, one of my favorite things that uh, the ROM, the, the hacking community, if you will, uh, is doing. So, yeah, that's it. Uh, see you guys later.